tau overflows time yourself into timelessness timing yourself in the domain of timelessness is the way of awareness if you just put a watch with the second's hand in front of you and keep your eyes on the movement of second second's hand you will be surprised you cannot continue to remember even for one complete minute you start watching as the second's hand begins the movement you are to watch without distraction for one complete circle of the second's hand perhaps 15 seconds 20 seconds at the most 30 seconds and you will forget you will get lost in some other idea or thought and then suddenly you remember that you were trying to remember even to keep awareness continuous for one minute is difficult therefore you have to be aware and that is not a child's play when you are trying to be aware for the small things of life you have to remember that many times you will forget you will go far away into something else the moment you remember do not feel guilty that is one of the traps you are trying to remember something that you have to watch you have to be aware but you lose the moments of awareness guilt feeling comes in this is one of the trap if you start feeling guilty then you cannot come back to awareness that you were practicing there is no need to feel guilty it is natural in the beginning this is how it happens there is no need for repentance it is simple and it happens to every seeker accept it as natural otherwise you will be caught in repentance guilt may arise in you that you cannot remember even for a few moments and you go on forgetting mahabir was the first man in the history of human consciousness he who said that if you can remember and be aware for 48 minutes continuously you will be enlightened the very moment and nobody can stop you but there are many distractions there is no need to feel guilty or in any way or repent the moment you remember that you have forgotten what you were doing simply come back and start working again you are watching the movement of the second's hand after 10 seconds mind wavers and the moment it comes back start up again then again it goes out come back again this is what we do on a day to day basis we are talking to someone and all of a sudden call comes in we answer the call and without any guilt feeling you return back to continue the conversation so this is natural and spontaneous my emphasis is simply come back without any guilt feeling or need for repentance do not cry or weep for the spilled milk because that is not going to help you in any way certainly it will take time for you to be aware 24 hours but slowly and slowly you will become aware it is a slow process but slowly and slowly you will become aware that you are remaining alert more and more 
you remember things more and more, perhaps one whole minute, and then perhaps even for two minutes. This is how the process goes on. In the beginning, even the masters have to go through this situation. Now, if I have to remember, I'm talking to you, all of a sudden there is a distraction comes in, I forget. I had to attend to that call or anything. When I come back and I ask you where, what we, what were we talking, you do not remember that. But I know what I was talking about. So there can be, one can do many things simultaneously and be aware what he is doing. On a day-to-day -day basis, I have to go through, create a balance between the business which is for livelihood and my eternal work that is for the transformation of human consciousness wherein I deal on a day-to-day -day basis number of people both within the country and outside in far different places where they are living each one of them is living in a different time zone. So I have to remember that, who I have to connect and what is the time difference. Do not think that you have attained something that will become a barrier. These are the patterns where one gets lost. Just little gain and you think that you have come home. Go on working slowly and patiently. Both being slow and patience is important. There is no hurry. You have eternity at your disposal. Do not try to rush. That impatience will not help in any way. Awareness is not a seasonal flower that grows in six weeks and then all are gone. Awareness is like the cedar, cedars of Lebanon, which take hundreds of years to grow. However, once grown, they remain for thousands of years and rise to 150 feet. Each cedar tree takes many, many years, hundreds of years to grow and they grow up to 100 feet high. Khalil Gibran is, came from Lebanon and he spoke for these cedar trees. They grow between 150 to 200 feet high up in the sky. They are really very proud people. So you have to remember awareness grows slowly and slowly, but it grows. You have to grow, go slow and patiently. One has to be just patient. As awareness grows, you will start feeling many things which you have not never felt before. Many things. For example, you will start feeling that you are carrying many tensions in your body of which you were never aware before because they were subtle tensions. Now your awareness is there you can feel those very subtle and very delicate tensions in your body. So wherever you feel any tension in the body, relax that part. If your whole body is relaxed, your awareness will grow faster. Because those tensions of the body create obstacles in the process of the growth of awareness, as your awareness grows even more, you will be surprised to know that you do not dream 
only in sleep instead there is an undercurrent of dreaming even while you are awake it goes just underneath your wakefulness close your eyes any moment and you can see some dreams passing like a rain cloud in the sky but only when you become a little more aware it will be possible for you to see that even in your wakefulness it is not a complete or true awakening dream the dream is floating there are people the dream is floating there are people call it daydream if they relax in their chair for a few moments and close their eyes immediately the dream takes over they start thinking that they have become the president of the country or they are doing great things or anything which they know at the very moment they are dreaming is all nonsense you are not the president of the country but still the dream has something in it that it continues in spite of you awareness will make you aware of your layers of dream in your waking state this is normal when you are somewhat relaxed and sitting in your chair you may start dreaming these are the layers and awareness makes you aware of the layers of dream in your waking state and they will start dispersing on their own there is no problem for them they will appear you become they will make you aware that like an undercurrent this day dreaming is continuing then they will disperse on their own just as you bring light into a dark room and the darkness starts disappearing like that it happens but for awareness you have to go slow and patiently start with the small things watch with the second hand is one of the most important tech methodology or technique that each one of you can practice just keeping the watch in front of your eyes and watch the movement of the watch the movement of the second hand many times your mind will move away no repentance nothing to worry about the moment you remember come back it goes out and come back again and then slowly and slowly you will grow into awareness enough for now